Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Pharmagist. I am Dr. Haimavati and in our computer aided drug design series, this is the third video and in this video we will be studying about what are molecular surfaces. So this molecular surfaces play an important role in studying computer aided drug design. So what is a molecular surface? In this uh, slide, I have a protein which is having a ligand in its active site. So this protein is represented in the form of cartoon representation which is in blue color and the ligand is at the active site which is in red color. Uh, the representation here is the surface representation, solid surface representation. So you can easily identify uh, this uh, ligand and how it is interacting with the protein. And in this uh, picture which is on the right hand side, here I have changed the representation to the protein. The protein you can see it is in the surface representation. This is known as solid surface. And the ligands are represented in the form of ball and stick representation. So what is the importance of this uh, surface representation or the different types of surfaces? These help in understanding the interactions. So generally the, in the interactions between a drug and a protein or a small molecule and a protein, the major part is played by non-covalent interactions. To understand these non-covalent interactions, we need to understand what are the different types of surface presentations present in the molecules. Now let's study what are the different types of molecular surfaces. So they are Van der Waals surface, Connolly surface and solvent accessible surface or accessible surface. Coming to the first one, Van der Waals surface. This Van der Waals surface, it can be explained by the rolling ball algorithm which was uh, introduced by Schreck and uh, Ruple in 1973. For this, we have to imagine, uh, suppose this is a molecule and imagine a sphere which is having a radius of 1.4 angstroms. And uh, when you roll this sphere around the molecule, so this molecule, when it is rolling around the molecule, it creates an area with that 1.4 angstrom radius. Okay. So the area which it uh, traversed, so that when we represent, so this is the wire mesh representation of the Van der Waals surface. So a spherical uh, ball which is having a radius of 1.4 angstrom, when you uh, cover it across the molecule. So the area covered by this sphere is known as Van der Waals surface. And this Van der Waals surface in this slide I have represented in the form of a wire mesh. And this is also a Van der Waals surface in which I have represented in solid uh, form. So you can see the area which was covered by the ball it is a solid surface representation and the molecular is in the gray color sticks. This is also Van der Waals surface in which I have represented the molecule as green colored stick model and the surface you can see the white cloud around the molecule. This is Van der Waals surface. Next is Connolly surface. So what is Connolly surface? It is also known as solvent excluded surface. So again we will take the same molecule and you will uh, rotate the sphere across the molecule. So when you rotate the sphere across the molecule, so what is it? First one is a Van der Waals surface. And when you place an arc, so this area which it is covering, so uh, the initial 1.4 angstrom area which is traced by the spherical ball or the probe is the Van der Waals surface. And when you draw an, uh, a line ab above this Van der Waals surface, so this is the Connolly surface. So this Connolly surface, it is here, uh, it is imagined that the solvent cannot enter into this 
surfaces so in these crevices which are created by rolling the sphere the solvent cannot enter hence it is also known as solvent excluded surface next is solvent accessible surface so in this solvent accessible surface what happens is again we will take the same molecule and you rotate the ball around the molecule so when you rotate the spherical ball or the probe it is what van der waals surface and again we will be taking another sphere which is having the same radius of 1.4 angstroms around the van der waals surface and when you take the center of these balls so the spherical balls which are having the 1.4 angstrom radius uh, suppose you take uh, you draw a line like this covering the center of the probe so this area this is accessible to the solvents hence it is known as solvent accessible surface area i hope you got the point so all the three different surfaces are covered here in this uh, picture so uh, the first one is where the probe sphere is uh, covering is the van der waals surface and when you draw a line around it it is the cannoli surface cannoli surface means the solvent cannot enter into the molly these crevices hence it is known as cannoli or solvent excluded surface and when you roll another sphere above this uh, van der waals surface which is having the same radius of 1.4 angstroms and when you draw a line at the center so this line this uh, the volume or the area occupied by this so here the solvent can get access to the molecule hence it is known as solvent accessible surface area or accessible surface area so uh, this uh, accessible surface area was first described by lee and richards in 1971 and hence it is also known as lee richards molecular surface and what is the importance of these surface area calculations though they help in understanding the polar non polar and total molecular surface areas which help in the uh, prediction of biomolecular recognition that is how the drugs and proteins bind together and what is the uh, uh, what we say how strong they are interacting or how weak they are interacting they we get different values by using this surface area calculations so this helps in understanding the biomolecular rec recognition and detection of drug binding cavities and, uh, and this is for uh, what we say for understanding uh it is a basic level uh, concept so uh, that we can understand what are the different types of surfaces so i have given only the uh, fundamental basic but the background calculations are very complex which will be very tough or difficult to cover in the present uh, video so that requires a lot of uh, subject to be understood but since this is a beginner level video i am stopping at this because how the molecular recognition takes place and how we can understand the recognition using this surface area calculations that is a very deep and complex topic which can be un, uh, discussed in our future videos so that's all for today i hope you like the video and if you like the video do not forget to share like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and see you in the next video